This is Vashti Hurt reporting from Bank of America Stadium for ADSN, where we just witnessed a good one between the Carolina Panthers and the Cincinnati Bengals. Exciting game. First half, we got an interception from Dante Jackson, a rushing score from Cam Newton. Panthers really led uh, the majority of this game. But in the first half, there were some questions about the defense. Not much pressure on Andy Dalton. Um, he had a couple of big plays to A.J. Green. But the defense came out with a lot of intensity in the second half. And then on the seventh, I thought, I thought Eric and the coaches made some real good adjustments and decisions. We we'll gave up a couple of chunk passes that we got to go back and look at and get those things corrected. But I thought the pass rush really came up big. We had a strip sack. We had another interception by Dante Jackson, uh, and, and the defense really came alive. So it was it was a tale of two halves for that defense. The Panthers ended up finishing the game in convincing fashion, winning by a score of 31 to 21. Now let's get into some of the details of what happened during the game. In a team full of veterans, it was two rookies that impressed the most on the defensive end. Efe Abada and Dante Jackson both received the game ball at the end. Efe Abada ended the game with one sack and one forced fumble. Dante Jackson was able to haul in two interceptions. Here's what they had to say about their performances after the game. Uh, I was I was very excited, man. I thought uh, F.A. had that honor alone by itself. He had a great performance, but just that just uh, just shows how, how much confidence this, this team has in in me being a rookie. Um, giving me the game ball is a huge honor. I just wanted to affect the game, and my main focus is we have to win. It doesn't matter about the sacks and the strip sacks. If we didn't win, it wouldn't mean anything. I'm not trying to be a superhero because I have a lot of great players around me. You know, Just sticking within the system and uh, just coming out trying to play ball. That's all I want to do. One of the big questions about Christian McCaffrey was if he can run and gain yards in between the tackles. But he proved everyone wrong today, rushing for over 180 yards on the ground. Yeah, I mean, it means a lot. I think it starts up front. Uh, the O-line, you know, all the stuff that they've been through. Uh, to see what Coach Masco has done with them and uh, to see how they've kind of come together through everything, you know, no complaining, no anything, and just go out there and ball the way they have has been really fun for me to watch, obviously. So big team win, and uh, we're excited to keep keep this momentum going. This is not a flute, you know what I'm saying? He's been doing this his whole career, collegiately as well as, you know, professionally, you know. And the fact that we, we have a, a special talent, you can't really gear in by using packages for him. You know, he's in there every single every single down, and the more comfortable he gets, not only in passing routes, but in blocking protections as well. You know, that 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 that, that possess a, a big thing uh, for our offense to have. Cam and Ron Rivera both weighed in on today's victory and how they plan on keeping the momentum going headed into this week's bye. Well, the truth of the matter is just practice. That's all we can do. You know, we'll, 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 we'll practice and get these guys away from football for a few days and let them relax and then bring them back. And, you know, we'll, we'll practice smartly next week in terms of preparation for our next opponent. You know, when you got a team that's playing confident like we're playing, it makes us hard to beat. But, you know, as we go into this bye week, you know, we can't, we can't let off the pedal. You know, we know we have to mend up, uh, get guys back, get guys healthy, keep the guys healthy that, 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 that are healthy and, um, you know, be ready to go when we come back. The Carolina Panthers should feel good after a win where they performed well both offensively and defensively heading into the team's bye. They will return October 7th to face the New York Giants again here at home. Thanks for watching and make sure you keep tuned to ADSN for Carolina Panthers coverage.